So what's up, T? I think you're crazy. <laughs> Look at our bags. The idea came up, and we we're really excited. But now that you see, <laughs> I, I'm scared. The day we left Parma was beautiful. Obviously, we left later than we intended to. We wanted to leave at 9 a.m., but hit the road not before 11. But anyway, we were happy that the trip had started at last, after all that planning. To make things even happier, there was a cycle path that took us pretty much from our doorstep all the way to the countryside. We have just started our trip, we are still inside Parma and uh, I'm filled with some concerns. First one, I look like an alien with that and that's how I will look like in all the, the videos we will make. So, but okay, this one is the, the stupid concern. Uh, my main concern actually is that uh, we have just too much stuff. We are carrying like around, I'm carrying around 10 kilos and Tiago around 15 kilos. So it's just too much. This wheel will slow, slow us down a lot. And I'm a bit concerned. So let's see how it goes. And the bikes are not really prepared for that as well. So uh, it's quite unstable now. Like I can feel it shaking. Um, Let's hope it will all go well because I'm concerned now. So, we just left the Parma province. First achievement or second? First was to leave to exit Parma town. That was easy. Oh, well, well. So now you want to go to Sabioneta, but the, the next milestone is cross the bridge to Via Danna. Uh, we just crossed Po River, which is the largest river here in Italy. And then we arrived in... in Via Danna! Via Danna. Which is another way to Savioneta. Savioneta, here we go. So far, so good. They tell us how to talk, and they teach us how to go. We're really happy that we arrived at Savioneta. It had been a long time we wanted to visit here. We're really excited to see the walls which surround the city, just as we imagined. So scream, hey, yo. Even though we have read it about it, we had no idea what to expect inside. And as we were really tired, we couldn't wait to find a spot to rest and eat something. Okay, so we have arrived at Savioneta, our first half stop. First stop is Mantova, mm -hmm. brick here in Savioneta. It's a medieval city very old very small it's all walled yeah so it's surrounded. amazing really really beauty really we haven't cute. seen much yet because we arrived we were so tired and starving that we just stopped here mm -hmm. under the shade to have some food 
and appreciate the, the surrounding. They say that the city is dying out, that it's about to become a ghost city because people are fleeing from here. Because as you see, there isn't much to do. But it's so cute though. We had to quickly leave if you wanted to make to Mantova that day. Beginning of the way from Savioneta to Mantova was a bit disappointing. It was a dirty road full of rocks. However, the landscape made it up for it. We're still at the beginning and I'm tired. Yeah. I feel more tired than I thought I would because um, first day we trained I felt quite exhausted but then the second day I felt better so I thought I would be prepared like I was building up my resistance my body but today is the first day we are cycling with all our stuff and it's the longest day as well so during the trainings we did like 50 kilometers stop and today we're gonna make almost 90. Um, it upsets me that uh, Tiago is so much faster than me. And I can see he has to slow down just for me to be able to catch up. And I'm pretty sure he's not very happy about it. Like he wouldn't tell me, but I know it's not that nice. So yeah, I'm a bit upset. And, I hate when I have doubts that I will make it, you know. Here, I cannot see Tiago anymore. I'm hoping I'm going to the right direction. Let's see how far we are from Mantova. I cannot see anything. And I cannot see Tiago anymore, really. It's not even like 500 meters. Then, the unexpected happened. So, uh, I don't even know how I have the mood to really do a video. But, uh, and I hope you can hear because there is just so much cars around. Uh, the worst thing happened, we got lost. It's getting late, I have no phone, I have no idea where I have to go, like where is the hotel, I don't know anything. Absolutely nothing. And I fucking got lost. Thiago told me to go in front of him, so I started going, uh, we, we need to go to Mantova. So I started cycling and then there was a big roundabout and uh, I saw the sign for Mantova so I went to the, to the road that takes us to Mantova and stayed there. I stopped and stayed there just waiting for Tiago to show up. Then after a long time I saw Tiago is starting to get inside the roundabout but he just turned into another direction. So I tried to run after him and I couldn't because he's so much faster than me. Then I tried to go a little bit further but then I couldn't see any signs at all for Mantova and I thought he would realize the mis his mistake. So I came back to the roundabout just to wait for him. I stayed there for half an hour, nothing. Not even a sign of Tiago so then I decided to take the the road to Mantova, I will try to find a hotel, plug my computer, get the Wi-Fi and see where is our hotel. Shit. And I told him at the beginning of the trip, like, give me your phone. Each one stays with a different phone because then we can communicate if anything happens. And he's all about like, nothing's going to happen. I'm checking on you, like, I'm, are we not going to... We won't get lost. Of course we will. Shit happens, man. <sighs> I 
can't believe it. So now we are inside Mantova. I only know that our hotel is uh, the city center. But I don't know the name, I don't know the address, I don't know my phone, I don't know anything. And I don't know where's Tiago. So f annoying. Seriously. Saying hi to us, so say hi back. <laughs> so I was cycling around, we got lost, and as you saw on the video, I was very, really pissed off. Yeah, I was very worried. And when we were in the city center of Mantova, we actually found each other. He was yes. cycling, and I was inside the shop trying to get the phone from the woman. So now we are good. It was one of the most desperate uh, moments of my life. <laughs> I swear, I was crying my eyes out, cycling <laughs> up and down. I wasn't feeling no pain in my leg or my legs, anything. Just like, where's Fernando, where's Fernando? Just crying, crying. And I was very pissed off. And then, then she was really pissed <laughs> off. Typical. But it was a good lesson. Now each one walks with a different, uh, cycles with a different phone. Um, so that's it. We, we are here in Mantova. I love the city. So far, I really, really like it. Uh, I found quite, uh, it's like uh, the city of art and culture. Yeah, the whole city center is a UNESCO um, heritage. heritage site. So uh, it's a mix of Renaissance and medieval. Uh, medieval architecture. So it's really beautiful. There's some nice stuff to see. Like uh, this one, for example, is the castle, the Ducali Castle, where the Go Gonzaga family, which is the main family from here, used to live for 400 years. Everything around here is Gonzaga. The garden is Gonzaga, the castle is Gonzaga, the Our hotel, hotel was, Gonzaga. Day was Gonzaga. Hotel de Gonzaga. <laughs> yeah. uh, we also have like the Duomo here is beautiful. What is the name of the other cathedral? San Andrea. San Giorgio. Basilica San Giorgio. Okay, you're gonna find like written. Will be written somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful inside, but you have to make sure you're there for the time they are opening and showing around. And there are some other stuff like the, it's a very nice city just to walk around. The city of Mantova, as you can see, is surrounded by lakes. We have three lakes. We call they call it Northern Lake, Southern Lake, and Mid Lake. And it's very all artificial. Creative. Yeah, <laughs> and it's all artificial. Uh, it's beautiful. Created, the sunset yeah. from here is amazing. Uh, so if you have the chance, run by the lake and watch the sunset. Yeah. But now we need to go. It's getting cold. I, I must admit, I was more excited for the cycling on the first day with the sunny, with the sunny day. And now I. We got a rush. So we got a rush. So you know, we got to escape the rain. So let's go. Wait. Here. 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 That way, that way. Me joga um isotônico? <risos> 